testing hello out there denture family it's me again um i know we've been talking in the past couple of videos about doing a, a budgeting video a series on how to budget especially when you're having to have extractions paying for dentures and how to get out of that debt if you're already gone into debt and doing that a care credit or dental first financing or any kind of financing for your um, dentures your extractions um, this is on how to get you out of debt this is also for those who have not had extractions and dentures yet but are thinking about it planning on it and how to save up for that um, if you do plan on going into debt for that or, or are going into debt for that how to get out of that that strategy so um, First of all, a couple of things I want to show you. Um, this is one of the things I use. This is my Happy Planner, and this one is it's called The Best Is Yet To Come. And of course, hello, it belongs to, but this is my um, Happy Planner has a couple of different budget planners. So in this planner, you will find a calendar in there some stickers I like to get some stickers for my paydays and that kind of stuff the bills do but in this you will see that there is um, your bills your bills that you're paid um, the date that they're due the amount and then a little checkbox over here in the corner on when those bills have been paid um, obviously I paid those and I didn't get checked but there's also, and this is what you're going to want to do the first month that you go into any kind of budgeting program, is you want to spend the first month tracking your spending. So, in this, they have an expense tracker, and um, I recommend doing the different one colors, doing one color for groceries, a color for your bills, um, a color for miscellaneous, and that kind of stuff. Um, I didn't do that in this one because I have another planner, and I'm going to show you that one in a minute. Um, this gives you several pages of expense trackers and I mean everything goes in here uh, when you go to the grocery store if you make a withdrawal at the ATM in the bank that needs to go in there if uh, you buy something from Amazon online that needs to go in here I mean everything that goes out of your bank account or out of your pocket that you spend to buy something whether it's a service a product anything like that um, even to put in your savings account all of that needs to be tracked. Everything that that you spend needs to be tracked on this so you know exactly where your money's going. So you can strategize on how to create the budget that's going to work for you. Because there are tons and tons and tons of budgeting programs out there. And they're all um and they're good ones, but you have to be realistic about where your spending is going. If you find you're spending a lot of money at the grocery store, then you can look at that and see, okay, what am I buying at the grocery store? That might be something you might want to track is what you're buying at the grocery store. Are you buying a lot of junk foods? Are you buying a lot of real food? Um, you know, things and look at things that you can cut out with that. Save your receipts. I have a pocket in my wallet that every time I go to the grocery store, go to the gas station, I buy something, that, that I get a receipt for Target, Walmart, Kroger's, you know, grocery store, any of them. That receipt goes in that pocket. So at the end of the day, I can input that in my expense tracker. And I do recommend tracking daily. You can do it weekly, but it's less time consuming in that week if you do it daily. It just takes a couple of minutes. Just go in there and write it down real quick and to get that done. Okay. Um, another thing, then we've got... And this is pretty much all this has is your bill paying expense trackers in that happy planner and they have a larger one which has more stuff in it um let me find it's also got weekly days so you can write down your dates in here um like i got my calendar stuff i'll set stickers in there yay um the fun things that we've been doing uh let's see at the end of that month at the end of that month Get your important dates and monthly goals here. You definitely want to write down some under this blank. You definitely want to write down some monthly goals. You need to figure out what it is that you want if you're going into a budget. Do you want to save money? Do you want to build up an emergency fund? Do you want to get out of debt? You need to figure out what exactly is going to be your motivation for doing this. Um, save your kids' college, you know, all that kind of stuff. And at the very end, um, this month has an ended yet, so this is your monthly budget, which you've got your bills and expenses now in this one this is smaller this is the small version this one fits in my purse so I can grab it out and use it on the go 
Um, I have another one that I use, which is primary, which is larger, it's a notebook size, but all your bills here, your variable expenses, which means those bills that, like your electric bill, that are not the same thing every month. Sorry, I'm looking at the wrong place. I need to look at the camera. Um, your starting balance, how much you started out with, and your how much you deposited, and, and, your, and then your savings. That's for your savings. So right down here, that's for your savings. You see your savings total. And this one is not my primary, so this is the one I mainly use to track my expenses as I'm out on the go. Or if I'm at work and I want to work on my budget a little bit. And then I will transfer it later into my big book. So, let's grab that. Now this one I got, this budget planner from... Uh, I downloaded it and printed it off from the Budget Mom, and I will link that below in, in the comments, or I'll link it below. Um, this is my primary. This is my bill tracker. This is for all of my bills, every bill for my subscriptions, like um, my Adobe bill, my our mortgage, um, even my Cinemark movie plan, where I get my uh, a free movie ticket every month and then 20% off concessions, my credit card bills, cell phones, everything, all of my bills are listed in here. And then when they're paid, this is my tracker, this, when I pay, see I paid uh, on this, well I haven't marked it for May, <laughs> I need to go in there and mark it for May. Um, I kind of ignored it a little bit this month because I was working so much overtime last week, a uh, week before last, and last week I was playing catch up, so I'm still doing catch up. But, um, I'll go into April's, for example. April's, I've got a budget here. And this is when I get paid. So obviously my husband gets paid every week. I get paid every two weeks, as you can see there. This I write in here real quickly when, what date each bill is due. So I know, like for example, this paycheck, I'm going to be paying this bill and this bill and this bill before my next paycheck. So next we have our paycheck bill. This going to one. Um, I didn't use it that much because this is this was my month of tracking, so I wasn't doing a whole lot of budgeting this month. But this is where uh, my monthly bills are listed. Um, how much I budgeted for them, like for example, uh, my Netflix. I couldn't remember exactly how much it was when I filled this out, so I averaged sixteen dollars, but it was actually seventeen fifty one because our bill went up last month because they increased the cost. So this is like for example, um, my credit card bill, um, my budget and payments on that if I had extra that I could put towards that then that's how much my actual payment would be over there your envelopes now we will talk about envelopes and cash envelopes and how to do that and um, probably in the next video I'll, I'll go over that one but you've got two sheets of payment bill check trackers in that thing and I, I printed off four of them um, this is another bill tracker this is, this is one that, um, another one that I actually created this one because I thought it might work better for me. Um, my cash envelopes breakdown is also what comes in this for the entire year. Um, my cash envelopes, how much I plan on pulling out in cash to put in those envelopes. So I've got food, gas, household, household stuff like toilet paper, um, paper towels, and that kind of stuff that's not a food item. Uh, Christmas, how much I want to put in my Christmas envelope and how much I want to put in my anniversary envelope, which is our anniversary next month. Um, my cash breakdown is how much, how many tens, twenties um, to fit in each envelope, how many tens, twenties, fives, ones, etc. that I want to pull out of each envelope and put in each envelope. And total bill account down here, and then you've got this for paycheck one, paycheck two, and then etc. etc. Um, here's the other expense track I was talking to you about colors. Obviously, I've got my food is in pink, my household is in orange. Uh, my sinking funds, which is my Christmas and anniversary and that kind of stuff, that's in green. So how much I pulled out for that. The blue is my um, miscellaneous stats like clothing. Um, if I went to Walmart and bought clothing, um, what else I put up here? I can't even read my own handwriting. Um, beauty items such as makeup, moisturizer, and that kind of stuff. And then bills were in yellow. All of those are in yellow, and then I have some blank ones down here. Those are deposits, actually, um, that I didn't color in. Purple was gas. When I went to, I generally put gas, fill up my gas tank every two weeks because I work close to home, and so does my husband. So, and then that, and I didn't color this one in, but 
as you can see, I've tracked, I was tracking, and I've got like three, um, three pages for all my expense tracking. And then my debt payment plan is if I list off all my debt, the balance on everything that I owe, my interest rates, because I'm still uh, work deciding yet whether I want to pay, called the snowball debt or the um, avalanche. So this is, but this is how much the interest rate is the minimum payment that I have to make on that and then which order I want to pay it off in. So if I was going to Snowball, um, for example, I've got, let's see, my balance on here um, is my one of my credit cards and my balance on that one is $291 and my interest rate on that is $23.9 and that minimum payment is $40 a month. So on the Snowball method, that would be my smallest one, so that would be the one I would throw extra money at to pay off first. And once I pay off that, I take the money that I normally pay for that and pay off the next um, next smallest debt. So that one um, right there is my, my credit card, and then I have the next smallest one will be my Target credit card. So I would pay that one off next because the interest rate. And um, the Avalanche method is basically taking all of your all of your bills listed your interest rates that you're paying on that and throwing extra money and paying off the one with the highest interest rate first and it's easier to do the snowball method because you get more instant gratification once you pay that first and second credit card off it takes longer generally because the one right now the one with my highest interest rate would be these where well, I pay for these that is my highest interest rate that interest rate was um, where's that 28.9% on the interest rate. That is super high. And um, throwing estimated, but it would take me longer. So my plan is, is to pay off the first two credit cards on the smallest amount. And then I'm going to switch to the avalanche method and start paying, um, throwing extra money at this. Now I have not yet listed because I need to, I need to redo this because I did not list my medical bills. So I've had some medical bills that came in that I need to pay, some hospital bills and from where I had my iron infusions. So, and then this is your progress. This is how much you owed uh, last month versus how much you owe at the end of this month. So, and that kind of gives you an idea of where you're um, you're at. The net worth tracker, I have not filled this out, but this is where you have your assets. Like if you own your car, that's considered an asset. So you would list that, what it is, and the balance on that um, if you owe anything on it. So my car would be listed on there and how much I owe on it. Right now I owe, uh, we both uh, own both of our vehicles free and clear. So we have no debt on those. Let's see. And then it goes into another monthly budget on this. I've got two pages of that. Three pages of that actually. And then I've got my next month, which is the month that I'm working on now. So, and this one I went in and colored versus with the paydays. Like for example, that the paycheck I got at the very end of May paid these bills. This paycheck that I get on this day covers these two, these bills. And then the paycheck I got last week covered our Netflix and credit card. And then we'll pay our cell phones this week, which will be pulled out of my bank tomorrow. So, and then of course I get paid and my husband gets paid this coming week. So that's going to be, um, that's going to cover a lot of these bills and maybe some extra, hopefully, because I'm be, um, my paycheck isn't normal. It's going to be a large one since I had that overtime the previous week. But that's what, and I'll link the, this below if you're interested in getting that. I think it's a, I think she's going to like $25.99 to download that. But, now that's, that can be kind of expensive. Um, I use part of our, um, my husband's bonus check from work to, to pay for that. Now, this is what, this is what I recommend for you all especially starting out just get a netbook that's all you need now I'm going to flip this around and start with um, showing you exactly how I'm going to do this okay okay done starting this is how we're going to do this so in a notebook you're going to want to track your expenses so you're going to want to track your say this is May 2019 and we're going to track our expenses and for example let me grab a receipt that I used let's see 
where I went to Target. Okay, see that? I went to Target. So, on um, since I tracked in the other one, so I'm just going to use this as an example. So, on today is, let's see, this is May 11th. Well, I think it was. It's actually May 3rd. This was May 3rd, but I'm going to say May 11th. And so on the date here, we'll fill in the store, which was Target. And then spent in that particular um, subtotal. My total payment was $65.56. So $65.56. Now that particular thing was was actually actually got downy and tied and tied. So that one was actually a um, household. So if I remember correctly, and you would want to, to do this up at the top. This is how I would do this. Um, whatever color you can do, whatever colors you want to. But since that particular one is household expense, since it was laundry detergent. And then you can just put, you know, gas, um, food, household, bills. So my next book's bill just came out. So that was, say, May. Uh, that came out on May, let's say May 11th. And that was Netflix. And that was, how much did I say that was? Thing. Let's check it real quick. Sometimes, I mean, this is going to take time to get used to and get the hang of it. Oh, I hate it, April. So, seventeen fifty one. So that came out. That was seventeen fifty one, and that would be I would consider miscellaneous. So I might color that one. Because that's a subscription, and you can do, choose a different color. Let's see that one. That's a different color. So you see where I'm going with that. And you can have one of these notebooks for each month, or you can just divide them up and just do pages. And then this is where you're going to want to list out, for example, um, on the next page. Or you, you can do this in any order you want to, whichever one is going to work best for you. But let's, for example, let's pull up what my monthly bills are as you hear me turning the pages. And I'm turning the pages. Okay. And figuring out where exactly my stuff, my information is. So. Sorry, it's taking me so long, guys. Okay. For example, let's say May 2019, and we're going to go with our bills. And I'm going to use real life numbers here, dudes. Okay, this is my mortgage. And we've got bills, and we'll go with date. And payment or you can write budget or actual amount or however it was as it was listed on that particular thing so we're gonna go with real numbers here so the date that is due is obviously 5 1 19 and the amount is 769.68 okay and then we have a payment for our air conditioner that is to call that to Vanderbilt, and it's also due five one nineteen. And that particular payment is ninety one eighty one. We have um, so much. Other lovely little things we have in here. We also have we have our water bill, and that one is also due five one nineteen, and that one um 
That one is variable, so I always put a little thingy in front of it. So I average, I budget about $95 for that. It can be higher or lower at some months. Um, my fourth is obviously the electric bill. That's another variable expense. That one's usually the second. So I add that in there and I will budget $200 for that. Now, a lot of times it's not that high. That's usually what it runs in the winter time. And what slow down from that usually covers if there's an overage on that. And lately my water bill has been pretty high because we have the highest water in the country. Now, another one that's due around the first is Cinemark. That's Movie Club. That one is also due. Usually it's due on the first, but it comes out and that one is $9.87. We have our Adobe payment, which we use for um, a monthly payment for our Adobe Premiere, our Adobe PDF, I use Photoshop, I use, you know, all that, all that fun stuff in Adobe. We use a lot of that. My husband uses a lot for his work too, so. And that's a business expense can come off of our taxes at the end of the year. That was also due on the second. That payment is $57.89. Our car insurance comes out on the third. And that comes out on May 3rd. And that payment is $94.84. And next is one of our credit cards. And that one is due on the 5th. That one is always 40 bucks. And then I have another credit card. That's my capital card. And that one is due on the 6th. And that one is minimum payment. And then I have our cell phones. And that one is due on the 13th. And that one, on average, that one's also variable because I pay $45 a month plus taxes. My husband and my son now have just added to it, so that bill will go up next month. Um, they pay by the gig with Xfinity, and their payments on that, um, with their phone payments, is about $30 a month. So if they go over that, then I have to pay that extra $10. And then my next one is, to, is the dental first. And that one is due on the 20th. And that one. Let me see where I'm going with this. Let me go into our care credit, our um, credit cards, our bank card, our, um, I have a Dollywood payment that comes out every month, uh, gym membership, and our host gator. So that gives you an example of how you can do how you can do that and of course you'll add it up at the end of the month and see how much uh, your monthly payments are. You also want to do something with your income and how much you have coming in. And our pay paycheck is we get paycheck first of the month, pay check, $781.84. That's my husband's. It's the same every month. Now mine is variable. Okay, he gets the same every month. So, um, he gets another paycheck, $781.84, and then I get a paycheck, and my last one was $810. It was $810.10. And then he'll get another paycheck. Actually, that one was up there. Um, $781.84, and then I'll get a paycheck, which I'm anticipating this much, so I don't know how much it's going to be yet. So, actually, we get. Yeah, my husband gets a paycheck. Let me see where that's going. And you just add, add up how much that, and that should be more than that. You hope. You always hope that's going to be more than that, so you can figure out where to go from there. Okay? So, then your next one is going to be your paycheck tracker. So this is fairly, I mean, fairly simple, but you're going to want to create, I mean, you're going to paycheck tracker. So, in this first paycheck of the month, my income, and 
actually, yeah, we both got paid that month. So his was seven eighty one eighty four. Mine was it was actually eight ten ninety two. So when you add that up, why do I not have a calculator? So you add that up. That's That's how much your income was in that paycheck. So out of that, ideally our mortgage should come out of that. And that's 769.68. And then Vanderbilt. We were behind on a couple of them, so that did not, not, did not actually get paid. So that one is going to be late this month. And this is what I'm struggling with as I'm learning to do this because I've only been doing this. As I said, April was an expense tracking month. This is going to be a month of adjustment. So I'm going to give myself a good two months of adjustment to get everything switched around to where they're being paid on time. Okay? So this one was paid. And this one was paid. So I'll check that off. And then my dental first. Because I was behind on that. That one was actually this much. And that one got paid. And then my care credit, because I was behind on that. And that's 120. And that was paid. My water was actually that much, and that got paid. My electric was this much. See where I mean when I'm budgeting two hundred dollars a month for that? It was actually less than that. It's actually I'm sorry, it was one sixty ninety two. And then Adobe got paid. And that was that one got paid. Car insurance, which was and this one actually went down this month because we started a new one and actually our payment was down. So this is credit card. And that one got paid and it was $40. This one got paid. And that one was $25. You see where I'm going with that. Okay, and then I added my husband because I sent him this much every week out of his paycheck. It's actually supposed to be more than that, but um, anyway, since I was playing catch up, that was twenty nine, and then I had groceries, which was way too much this month. I can't remember. I haven't um, added all that up this week. So, like I said, I usually do it daily, but this past two weeks has just been absolute crazy. Okay. That's what you're going to do every week. And then you're going to have your envelopes. And we'll talk about the cash method next time. And how much you're pulling up for each envelope for food, household, gas, sinking funds. And that will be another video where we'll talk about sinking funds. Okay? And then any money you had to pay towards extra debt. And extra savings. Now next, in the next video, we'll not only talk about sink envelopes, but we'll talk about what you should be doing first, what your first steps are. Now, um, let me pause this, and I will switch this back around, and we'll talk some. More. Okay, that's what we're. That's all I want to talk to you about today. Just getting started. All you need is simply a notebook some sheets of paper and a pen. If you want to get fancy, you can buy the um, the budgeting books. I got the Happy Planner, which you can find at Walmart. You can also find it at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, if you have those nearby, if you want something that um, is kind of cute and pretty. And I have also all these fun, fun, fun stickers to use in my Happy Planners, Happy Planner and my other planner. So I've got lots of fun things to do. And it's kind of fun to do that budget. Um, and now that I've not really caught it from last from two weeks ago, I feel like like I said I was feel like I was playing catch up all week. So, but anyway, um, that's just that's all I got to get started, guys. That's all you need is simple a notebook and a pen, and um, a way to um, 
save your receipts so that you're tracking your expenses. So the very first month you want you want to start from the first of the month to the end of the month. You want to track your spending. Now it doesn't mean you don't you don't need to budget that month. You also want to figure out you know make sure your bills get paid. Um, we have been, um, and I'll be honest, we've been behind on a few bills. We've never gone over the 30-day mark, so none of our bills show up on our credit rating as being late. But there are times when it is two weeks to three weeks late before it gets paid. That's um, that's life. I mean, that's just the way it's been right now. But things are getting turned around to where they're getting paid on time. I've gotten everything right now except the mortgage is being paid on time. And that one will actually start because of all that extra time I got them working um that will actually start i'll little 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 speak it out woman june 1st i'll actually start being able to pay um all of that on time so it just means i have to be careful and i have to be strategic and this is a challenge for me so i'm really 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 looking forward to this challenge and i'll take you guys along this journey with me as we try to get out of debt and pay especially pay these pay these off and especially as i go in and get a second set of dentures which is going to start that I'm going to start that process really soon. I'm just waiting for um, things to calm down in next week, especially now too. Um, that might be on hold a little bit for a couple of months at least, um, since I did turn in my notice to my job and I will no longer be working. I am going to wait for the right one to come along. I did apply at another position. It, it will be a daytime position. It, it's part time, so I hopefully I can keep my Mondays free, so I can continue my, my volunteer work that I dearly love to do. Um, if, it does, if it takes a couple of months or even six months to come along, I at least have my nursing license reactivated so I can just, I can wait. But I want to wait, wait for the right job and not just jump into something that's going to make me as miserable as this job has. I love the residents, I love the patients. They're just, they're awesome people. It's just, there's no leadership and I just can't deal with administration as it is right now. So. Turning my nose Friday night. They should get it tomorrow morning when they get into work. So that's all she said about that. Anyway, you guys have a wonderful day. God bless. And I will be back in. My plan is two more days. Now I know how things can happen. But my plan is to upload a new video on Tuesday. It is Sunday. Happy Mother's Day. So you guys have a wonderful day. God bless. And I'll see you next time.